Mark, let's start with Amazon. Um, um, is this about operating margins sort of not holding pace with the prior quarter? Is it about the wide range for the quarter to come? Is it, is it a sense that uh, business is great, but costs are also high? Well, we've had a stock that was up 75% on a year. So this is one of the highest bar stocks. And you needed a real positive inflection point for the shares to rally further. I, I think they delivered on what the bulls wanted, but not more than what the bulls wanted. And the one negative here was the outlook for operating profit in the fourth quarter was below expectations. This company, when all is said and done, is going to have spent something like $11 billion in uh, 2020 on COVID-specific costs which means that should set up the company really well for operating margin expansion going forwards. It should tell you just how profitable this business is. But near term, investors are going to be cautious on that uh, on the stock because of that uh, operating profit outlook. Brent, uh, to that point, I mean, is, is the the right investor mindset is to think about it like you're going into this cloud of uncertainty regarding the virus. It's going to be expensive to mitigate but that coming out of it, you will have arranged a whole new audience uh, with you, uh, uh, and those costs will come down. Yeah, we, we think that's right. I, I think the biggest overhang right now is growth is inevitably going to decelerate on the, on the top line. But to Mark's point, profitability will build. The advertising business uh, accelerated uh, EWS backlog, which was disclosed in the filing, uh, accelerated again. And these are really high margin businesses and can offset the, the retail business, which is a low margin business. So ultimately, no other retailer has this. We think it's a, a, the key gem with AWS. And we, we continue to see of the big three mega cloud vendors, they're at 60% market share. And in, uh, Google and in, in Microsoft really can't keep up with them. So they're, it's a runaway freight train on AWS. And that's going to continue to drive higher profitability going forward. Mark, uh, so many different names to get to. Uh, let's hit Facebook if we can. Uh, I mean, I guess let's just start off. Give me your take on the quarter. The stock is getting hit, uh, as so many are, other than Alphabet this morning. Yeah, so uh, Facebook uh, also gave you what the bulls wanted, but not necessarily more. And the one negative here, similar to Amazon, is the expense growth outlook. So I think the bogey was whether they would guide to a total expense growth next year of 25 to 30 percent. They got it above that. 28 to 35 percent, there's probably some conservatism in there. But I think the market wanted to get more of a, a return uh, next year. They wanted margins to ramp. And uh, uh, so I think that really was the, the, the negative. I, I think Facebook is showing you and we're kind of seeing this now with Snap, uh, uh, Pin, uh, Pinterest, even Twitter. They had other issues, but even Twitter and Google, we've seen this dramatic recovery in online advertising growth rates. I mean, some of these companies are actually printing faster growth coming out of COVID. Well, I know we're not out of COVID, but coming out of the depths of COVID than they were going in. So it says something about how resilient these uh, ad models are. That's the positive. If they can stabilize those expenses or show us what we get for all those investment dollars, then that stock can continue to, to, to perform higher. And I think it will. I think you're going to find people willing to buy this weakness today. How about Google, Brent? How did that one become the surprise star of the earnings parade, especially with the cloud over it going in of that fresh antitrust lawsuit from the DOJ? Expectations were super low. You have a 13 EBITDA multiple. This company's going to grow EBITDA mid-teens. Again, it's more the value play of the mega cap uh, tech vendors and definitely, I think, the least asked on, on all the names that Mark and I cover uh, but I think you saw, you know, good acceleration in YouTube uh, growth rate, 6% back into the 30s uh, this last quarter. The cloud accelerated, search is coming back. And, you know, for the first time, we're getting uh, a more transparent Google management team that's giving more metrics to all of us. Uh, many of their peers are giving a lot more metrics. Uh, and so we think ultimately they're being slightly more shareholder friendly. Uh, in, in terms of the metrics. So that is helping investors get more confidence in their business. And again, I think, uh, again, expectations were low and valuations really low. So we still think there's room and upside on, on Google stock from here. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.